I was able to be one of, I think, the first couple of people that was like in on the telehealth um, physical therapy. Uh, my physical therapist, Jill, she's really like forward thinking and, and she immediately suggested it um, as an option since I was working from home um, and just kind of everything, you know, that we can do to keep people safe. It was just another one of those great options. Um, so I, I started doing the uh, telehealth my first session, I won't lie. Um, you know, I was a little bit uh, just kind of, you know, the unknown, right? Um, but my expectations were were met and went above. Like it was something that I didn't think that you could do in a telehealth capacity. Um, I just, I didn't know the ways that it would have been done, but, um, you know, Jill would introduce the exercises to me. Um, and then it's not just a meeting. Your physical therapist is actually watching you do the exercises and giving you that real time feedback exactly like it would be in the clinic. The, I guess the only thing that you wouldn't have is that, that hands-on experience. Um, but there's, uh, I mean, I think that Jill and I worked out more than a couple of ways to kind of compensate for, for whatever was lost there. I think that not having the ability to do manual therapy is a challenge, certainly. Um, but in a lot of cases, it's not necessary. And even when a person's in the clinic, if I'm doing a manual technique on them, more often than not, I'm going to try to teach them a way to do that to themselves at home. Um, I think one of the other things is just the buy-in. You know, physical therapy is such, considered such a, a hands-on profession that at first people can feel that, boy, this is just not going to work. How is it going to work to do physical therapy through telehealth? Um, so I think that once you can get your patient or client to buy in that, uh, this is going to be a team effort. We're going to work together to figure out what the problem is and to address it with exercises and stretches that you can do at home. Um, that's, that's really helpful. Um, for me, the telehealth is super easy to work into my schedule um, and it, it's easy to be compliant with. Um, you know, I think that that's one of the biggest problems is that people get busy and um, it, it's easy to let these things go that um, are actually really important for your body and for feeling good and, and making sure that you're doing the right things for yourself. Um, so telehealth was a great way to add that into my, my daily routine. I also feel like there's a lot that you can do in the home. You know, that the person, if you want to implement a strength training program, you don't necessarily need all the equipment in the gym. And ultimately, I'm trying to get the patient to be able to do the exercises on their own. Not only are you teaching them how to do exercises or teaching them how to deal with their pain in an environment that they're in every day, um, you can also really look at their functional li limitations firsthand. I recommend telehealth to my patients because it's convenient and physical therapy is something that you're able to do over video, video conferencing or telehealth. There's so much that we do, primarily patient education. I think that that's probably one of the biggest components of my job is just educating patients as to what is going on in their body, what they can do to help make themselves feel better and become more functional. And most of the time, they do not need to be in the clinic with me to make that happen. Um, I can do that very easily over telehealth.